TU100, my digital life. Sense and sense ability. An expression is something that can be evaluated, in other words, worked out, to produce a single value. The expressions that most of us are familiar with are arithmetic expressions like these. An expression is created by combining an operator with one or more value, which in this context are called operands. So in the expression 3 plus 4, for example, the plus is the operator, and the 3 and the 4 are operands. Because the plus operator performs arithmetic on numbers, it can be described as an arithmetic operator. The same is true of minus, times and divide. All programming languages provide operators, and sense is no exception. In the green operators palette, sense has blocks that implement various kinds of operators, including arithmetic operators. So let's look first at arithmetic operators in sense. These are the arithmetic blocks that sense provides. When one of these blocks is executed, sense evaluates the corresponding arithmetic expression, resulting in a single value. Now we'll explore the first four of these blocks. Open a new project and immediately save it in the Session 2 subfolder of the Sense Programming Guide folder as spg underscore project underscore 10 underscore sol. In this exercise, we'll be experimenting with some arithmetic blocks. All blocks in the scripting pane will be associated with the stage, so no sprites are necessary. Drag an add block from the arithmetic section of the operator's palette to the scripting pane. Set its input values to 5 and 3 like this. If we double click on this block to execute it, we will not see any result. Try this for yourself now. And this is because although sense evaluates the expression, 5 plus 3, that is it runs the block and so calculates the resulting value, we haven't told it to do anything with the result. Note that the arithmetic blocks have rounded ends, and as with blocks representing variables, Sense uses this same shape for all blocks that evaluate to a number or a string. These kinds of blocks can be dropped into other blocks' white input boxes, and this is what we'll do to see the result of evaluating 5 plus 3. So let's create a new variable called result, making sure its variable watcher appears on the stage. Uh, you learned how to create a variable in the video 2.1 and there's a link to that here. Set the value of the result of evaluating 5 plus 3 using the 5 plus 3 as the input value in the set block like this. Run the new block by double clicking on it. This time you will see the result displayed in the result watcher on the stage. Now, experiment with setting result to expressions created from the other arithmetic blocks, the subtract, multiply and divide. Here's a handy tip. If you right click on an arithmetic block in the scripting pane, you can change its operator. So here you can change this to the plus, minus, the times or divide. Try combining some blocks to make some more complicated expressions. How would we get sense to work out 5 plus 3 in brackets times 20 minus 3 in brackets, for example? Now open the project spg underscore project underscore 11 and immediately save it as spg underscore project underscore 11 underscore sol. Remember the rule we used in this program, that the angle between two adjacent sides of a regular polygon is equal to 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. In creating our polygon drawing program so far, we've applied that rule. Knowing that the value of sides is 6 for the hexagon drawing version, we calculated that the angle between two sides must be 360 degrees divided by 6, which equals 60 degrees. Hence, this is the value we entered in the input box of the inner loops turn clockwise block, as shown here. However, this approach means that each time we change the number of sides, we need to calculate and enter the corresponding angle. But there's a better approach, which is to use the relationship between the number of sides and the angle to form an expression for the angle instead. That way, sense calculates the angle for us. 
This is going to be the focus of what we're going to do now. So make sure that the pointer is selected. Go to the operator's palette and choose the divide block and drag it into a clear space in the scripting pane. Now enter 360 into the first input box of the divide block. Go to the variables palette and drag and drop the variable sides into the second input box. Our divide block should now look like this. Position this block in the input box of the inner loop replacing the value 60. The inner loop should now look like this. Save the project and run the program. Now change the value of sides by entering different numbers into the second input box of the set block near the top of the script. Remember to restrict the number of sides to a value between 3 and 10. Try 3 for a triangle or 5 for a pentagon and so on. Run the program each time. We've now amended the program to draw each polygon automatically working out the angle of the polygon from the number of sides. And remember in an earlier video, it was explained that if we want to draw a number of polygons in such a way as to describe a complete circle, we need to calculate the number of degrees that pointer is rotated after each polygon is drawn. The rule we used for this was 360 degrees divided by the number of polygons gives the angle of rotation. From this rule, we can form an expression that will enable Sense to work out the required angle of rotation from the number of polygons. And this works in a very similar way to the previous use of the variable sides, as we'll see now. So open project 12, which contains the completed program, and save it with the underscore SOL at the end. Make sure that pointer is selected. We'll create a variable local to pointer called number of polygons. Then place a block in the script directly below the block that sets the sides to 6. That will set the value of number of polygons to 40. Our program will initially still draw 40 polygons. Now we'll drag the variable number of polygons from the variables palette into the input box of the outer repeat block, replacing the 40 and using a division block, we can create the expression representing the rule for calculating the angle of rotation. And we can use this expression as the input value of the outer turn block, replacing the nine. Save the project and run the program. And we should find that just as before, 40 hexagons are drawn. Before you watch the next video, experiment by changing the value of number of polygons and try changing the value of sides as well. For example, what value should these variables have in order to draw 25 pentagons? Thanks for watching. Bye for now.